My name is Huda Lawa. I'm the second oldest of my seven siblings, and today I want to share with you who my mother Nadia is. My mom is the founder and CEO of New Day Syria, an NGO working to better the lives of Syrian mothers and children affected by the current humanitarian crisis. Born and raised in Denmark, my mom has never actually lived in Syria. She grew up very Danish, but with a strong sense of globalness and of a whole world being one humanity. We want to help other people, people that have no means to move. And in 90% of, of the cases of the people we help, um, it is women and children. And many of the children are orphans, which means many of the women are widows. They really don't have anybody. And when you hear what they need and how desperate they are and what's going on, it's like you can't stop, you know. My mom's self-initiative and determination shines through in her refusal to be a bystander. Belief in the freedom of speech as a means to change society has always been core to my mom's life. Because it's just too much what's going on. All they want is freedom and democracy. And that's just a basic human right. With this value in her mind and Syrians in her heart, my mom started organizing rallies in Boston. She was determined to make her voice heard and to do it with the greatest impact she could through her own example. I think every human being should care that somebody else does not have the right for freedom. The past couple of years have been hard as the conflict in Syria hit closer and closer to home. One such tragedy was the loss of James Foley in August 2014. With the tragic news of his passing, my mom did not hesitate, immediately organizing a vigil in honor of James then not only paid homage to his life and his memory, but also denounced the horrific acts of a terrorist group. New Day Syria is currently renovating camps in Jisal al sharur where hundreds of Syrians have fled. Those living in besieged areas with little other aid are given relief through our crops and livestock initiatives. These unique and courageous projects provide Syrians with the necessary items to begin and maintain agricultural initiatives. What we do is that we actually engage the community here in, in the United States where we work and we have a diverse group of people. We build bridges and we let people know, the recipients, the mothers and children and families in general inside, um, that people care on the outside. People, they care so strongly and deeply that uh, they are taking their children's uh, items, you know, toys or donations, money, that grocery money, and they're donating this and they're sending it to, to you guys. And then, we try to get that message out that people know inside Syria that others care and they might not be able to solve the political situation but in the end being able to give a, a little child a stuffed animal or saving someone, a, a mother who she needs to deliver or having a child go to school, that's what brings hope. And if you can basically bring hope to one family, one child in the family, the whole family will know that people care on the outside. And that's what's going to, from day one, we knew this, that, you know, we would have different forces inside Syria, but bringing hope was going to overtake all the badness and all the ugliness, um, because hope is really the strongest feeling there is.